In 1996, an esteemed MIT professor published a paper in Harvard Review of Philosophy containing the following problem, which he deemed the hardest logic puzzle ever. Today, we are going to solve this puzzle and deem ourselves the greatest logic puzzle solvers ever. Are you ready? Okay, let's dive in. Three gods, A, B, and C, are called in no particular order Trudy, Falso, and Randall. Trudy always speaks truly, Falso always speaks falsely, but whether Randall speaks truly or falsely is a completely random matter. Our task is to determine the identities of A, B, and C by asking three yes or no questions. Each question must be put to exactly one god. Gods understand English, but will answer all questions in their own language, in which the words for yes and no are da and la, in some order. We don't know which word means which, and if we correctly guess their identities, the gods will bless us with a prosperous life. If not, watch out, we're cursed. Listen, figuring out the answer to this riddle is so crucial because, well, you never know when you're gonna need to be prepared for this exact scenario in real life. So let's dig in. Let's break it down as simply as possible. If we ask, is the sky blue? Trudy will answer yes, Falso will answer no, and Randall's answer is basically like a flip of a coin. It's 50-50. So that question alone doesn't actually give us very much information. Pause it here if you wanna to try to solve this on your own first. If you can, please let me know because you need to be entered in some sort of puzzle solving competition. There's your warning, I'm gonna start digging into the solution. How we really start to gather information is if we ask something like, if I were to ask you if the sky is blue, would you say da? If da is yes, Trudy will say da. If da is no, Trudy will still say da. He's basically saying, if you ask me if the sky is blue, I would not say no. Falso will have the same answer as Trudy with this question. He's going to lie to you. Using a question like this, Falso and Trudy will always give you back what you ask. So with that knowledge, if you're not already confused, let's break down the actual solution. We're gonna ask the center god question number one. If I were to ask you if the god to your left is Randall, would you say da? If the god says da, then there's two possibilities. Either the god to the left is Randall, and the god speaking is either Trudy or Falso, or the god speaking is Randall. Either way, you know the god to the right is not Randall. Next, we approach the god to the right who is not Randall. If I were to ask if you are Trudy, would you say da? Let's say in this scenario, the god to the right is falso. He's going to answer la, which either means no, I would not say yes, or yes, I would say no, depending on the meaning of the words, which we don't know. Stay with me, I know it's confusing. So we are gonna pose the final question to falso. If I were to ask you if the god in the middle is Randall, would you say da? If the answer is da, then the god in the middle is Randall, and the third god is Trudy. If the answer is la, then the god in the middle is Trudy, and the third god is Randall. Okay, congratulations, we did it. Rewind that if you're confused because it took me longer than I'd care to admit. If you followed that on the first try, let me know, I'm impressed. If you came up with that on your own, I'm really impressed. There are literally the most insane charts mapping out every single scenario here if you're interested in logical reasoning in a really deep way. Either way, we got through it together. I'm proud of us. Now we have an annoying weird question to pester people with at parties and completely forget the solution. So you're welcome, thanks for watching.